downtown Detroit, Michigan. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Second down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A little glimpse of his athleticism there and what they're going to have to deal with. He can use his legs to dance around back behind the line of scrimmage and beyond the line of scrimmage. And wouldn't you love to get a copy of their defensive scouting report going into the week? Because that's been stressed the whole time. Keep him bottled up. Keep him in the pocket. But it's the first drive of the game and emotions are running high. Someone forgot that, trying to make a big play and gave up a bigger one instead. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. And he's brought down. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone setter, right? I think they're going to be looking his way a lot. Yeah, and I think that the way things are going right now, they like him as a featured receiver. Let's see what kind of adjustments the defense is going to make to try and take that away. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. A hit as he throws there incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. First down line at the 34 here on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone set. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Defensively, they better figure something out. Opening drive, he already has four catches. And if you have to figure out how to stop him defensively, that usually means you weaken your defense. That means that now the offense is doing the dictating, and they should have other things open up as well. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. And for a second straight play, the Lion defense drops him behind the line of scrimmage. They lost four there, and it's third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that is incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense. He's past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They go play action. Now Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, 
Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of him, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. They're going to the air on the opening drive. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Demarcus Robinson. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. And his kick is no good. An inauspicious start here kicking-wise as this one stays a 6-0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And trouble there on the kickoff as that goes out of bounds. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Now gone. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs force the turnover, and they'll take over at the 10. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hope we'll get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. A well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet, so they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. On second down, Swift. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. And sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. From the gun, here's Goff. Well, into a sea of defenders have intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to have it here at their own 15. 
So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. They're rolling that right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now here's Mahomes rolling to his right. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Steps away. Throw left side. Take it in by Hill. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Trey Flowers, he brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. Throwing on second and long, Mahomes. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off near the 29, and he will bring it back. An interception return for the Lions touchdown. You don't want to coach him, Charles, to stay in the pocket on every play, but I guess that's the danger of getting outside of the pocket, extending a play and making a bad throw. Turns into six points the other way. Yeah, sometimes when you get outside the pocket, your, your vision actually gets obscured a little bit, or you narrow it down too much, and you don't see all the defenders in the area. Extra point, hung the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And they take the lead here at 7-6. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Man open is Robinson. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 26. 
to throw. It's Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again, looking for the end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. He certainly had a good game throwing the ball so far, but I think he was trying to take that from good to great with that throw, trying to get one downfield. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. That's complete to Robinson. And down inside the 15 he goes. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Caught, Kelsey, left side. That catch good for five. It's third down. Hey, let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minute. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. It's the linebacker, Alex Anzalone, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. They are just about set to get back to football in Detroit. And for the call of the second half, we'll kick it back up to Ford Field and Brandon God. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Khalif Raymond now. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. Here's second and ten. Goff now to throw. That's into the hands of Khalif Raymond. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 40. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And they'll try the jet sweep here. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big, or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that, because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. And it looks like a pickup of six. That leaves them with seven yards to go on third down. Here's Goff. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. 
On now is Seibert for the Lion field goal. This from 54 yards away. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. When he went on the move there and started rolling out, I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. And that's to Ahmed Ross St. Brown. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. The first carry now for the BYU man, it's Jamal Williams. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Goff on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and 10. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing on third. Golf. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. On first and 10, it's Swift. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. 
On second and nine, Goff. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Tyron Matthew, normally known for the pass coverage, this time a sack. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needed to come up with something here on third and long. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Out of the gun, gone. Over the middle complete. That's Reynolds. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain. Still a place to go, though. Seibert's kick is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden they're down. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is... He's been coached really. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Tracy Walker. And he will bring it back to about the 11 yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down but in a favorable spot. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game in the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Seven yards, the pick up there. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, but what a nice job improvising, finding other options, and completing the pass anyway. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. The Chiefs on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and 16. It's Kelsey on the ground. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. 
And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt, certainly not what he wanted. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Nick Bolton. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, dare I say it, it's kind of quid pro quo. Both defenses now with an interception return for a touchdown. Your vocabulary, sir. Well done. So now a big spot here as the Chiefs will indeed go for two. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. It's caught at the one. I know they didn't take on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Oh yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they have to try and move past that pick six because now they're dealing with a fourth quarter deficit. And they need this drive to end in points. And search of redemption from the pick six. Golf. And it's knocked away and incomplete. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. On second and ten, Goff. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we we'll watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's gone. And now here is another interception. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 
So finally, at this stage of the game, he lets his legs carry him for a big-time first down. But I think this is all set up by his eyes throughout the game. He's been taking it all in as he's watched this thing unfold. And finally, the eyes carried the legs and took him downfield. You're right. His longest run of the game waited until the fourth quarter. And maybe that lulled the defense to sleep a little bit. First and ten, it's Edwards Alaire with it. And he will lose yardage on the play, back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a full eight yards. And sets him back for second down. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it's going to be their defense that gets the ink in the headlines tomorrow. And for good reason. They forced five turnovers in this game. And while we were watching this game unfold, I kept thinking about when we did our training camp tour and something that you noticed along the way. Just about every camp we visited, when the defense got together, everyone was doing ball drills. 